listen, experience the music, this cry, this plea, so fitting to expressing pain. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. All about music and psychology. I'm like pointing to the wrong signs. World music and psychology. I'm really happy that you're here. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. Where are you watching from? What brought you here? Why do you like to be here? At least I hope you do. I'm really happy that you stopped by though. I want to show you something. I don't know who this is yet, but I saw a reaction or I saw a thumbnail of a reaction to an artist named Karsu Dönmitz. She is from Turkey, a Turkish Dutch singer. Isn't that beautiful? That's what I love about the world. You have these different artists who are from all kinds of places and maybe from two countries at the same time as I am myself, Cuban German, born and raised in Germany. And I want to check out this Turkish Dutch singer, Karsu Dönmitz. Beautiful young lady. I believe she was born in 1990, so around 33. And there's a song called Neredesin Sin, Where Are You? It has over 2.5 million views. She put it out about nine days ago, nine or 10 days ago. Can you believe that? There's artists out there we've never heard of before because they may not be mainstream in the, uh, certain countries or for whatever reason and that are possibly very talented, very special. Thank God for YouTube. So we're going to check it out. Yes, came out 10 days ago, 2.5 million views, Karsu. Go check out her YouTube, subscribe, follow, like, uh, check out these artists. I usually put the link to the original song I'm reacting to in the description at the bottom. So check it out and follow her. Let's check out Karsu Dönmitz. Her music, so she is Turkish-Dutch, a singer from Amsterdam, Amsterdam in the Netherlands. While her music style is a blend of various genres, jazz pop is probably the best description for it. At the age of seven, the, her parents bought her a piano with money they had put aside for buying a car. Wow. At 14, she was making a name for herself by performing at her parents' restaurant. That's about all that I know. So let's explore this beautiful Turkish-Dutch singer named Karsu and uh, her song Neredesin Sen. Where are you? The only thing I know in Turkish is Seni Seviyorum Ashkim. I love you. I believe that is. I have friends from Turkey. Um, I have only been to the airport in Turkey. I would love to still go to Turkey and explore the land. But I'm excited we get to dive more into more music here. Um, I may list this in both my Turkey and my um, Netherlands playlist, but we shall see. I wonder real quick, you guys, I'm sorry to interrupt, if this uh, footage in the background going on while she's playing is footage from the earthquakes. Very recently in Turkey and in Syria, the death tolls keep rising and thousands, it's, all, it's already going over, I think, 50,000 possibly, <sighs> over 50,000 dead in Turkey and Syria. And uh, I'm going to see if I can find some type of fundraiser I can add to this. So check it out below and see if you have on your heart to donate and help these people in need. We'll talk about the lyrics in a second, but Neredesin Sen, it's titled Where Are You, I believe. And we'll talk about the lyrics. I don't see any English subtitles, so we'll listen, experience the music, even if we don't understand the words, and then we'll talk about the lyrics. Bütün dertleri mağlayıp gönlümü bile Sanki kalbimi bilerek yüzüme güler Gönlüm hep seni 
This is very sombering. I believe that this, uh, that, like I said, the videos playing in the background were in reference to the earthquakes uh, in Syria and Turkey. And um, if I saw and read correctly, supposedly the death toll is over, what is it, 50,000? The lyrics says... The lyrics say, I believe she was singing in Turkish, such a beautiful language. And a, a side note, this is so heavy when it comes to the lyrics and the footage that I'm not even talking about her skills as a singer. Beautiful voice, beautiful young lady, very uh, strong voice. I love how she was vocalizing in the end. This cry, this plea, so fitting to expressing pain. Music is art and it's a language. It's a universal language that we can use to communicate feelings, emotions, things we can't put in words. And even songs that don't have lyrics can communicate so much. And because we're all unique and subjective, we'll perceive it in different ways. But as it's showing these people suffering, hurting, and crying for her, and then even the background vocalists to come in to cry and chant like that, this vocalization of, of just desperation and, and, and plea was very emotional. And you can see it's a very serious topic. There's no, you know, smiling, no, you know, desire to thank the audience for for clapping though it's nice they're appreciating her work because it's such a somber moment it's so serious and there's a lot of emotion in her singing a lot of strength her beautiful piano playing skills she says you're the one who knows me my sweet one my heart aches for you where are you my sweet talker my gracious doe-eyed beauty my heart aches for you where are you if i saw correctly i think this song was written by or is an older song written by Neset Ertas, also performed by others. And uh, I guess Neredesin has sung this. I don't know if she wrote it. It says Neset Ertas. I'm not sure who that is. But it's. I think it's this, this song that she's performing here. So perhaps a cover. And it says, my sweet talker, my gracious doe-eyed beauty, my heart aches for you. Where are you? Where are you? You are the one who laughs when I laugh and cries when I cry. You're the one who knows all my sorrow and deep inside my heart. My heart aches for you. Where are you? And then this vocalization, this this cry. Beautiful song. In and of itself, I could see that it is a is a that could be interpreted in and of itself as a love song, right? To a lover, a relationship that's ended, someone maybe who's died. This plea for where are you? You know, you understand me. You cry when I cry, laugh when I laugh. And I think there's even scriptures that talk about that mourning with those who mourn, right? It really encouraging others to, to show empathy for those hurting. I think there's something beautiful when we as human beings come together and experience that with one another. But in and of itself, where this could look as a love song after an ended relationship or death of a loved one, in this context, I feel it's very fitting because it's this plea to our fellow human beings, to the world around us saying, where are you? help you know there's people hurting in turkey and syria this cry for hey when i cry you cry when i laugh you laugh where are you now you know my beauty i think it's the reminder a somber reminder to all of us to not turn a blind eye to those in need if you have it on your heart make sure to check out the fundraiser that i'm connecting to this video and 
give as you're able to, if you feel led to. But I would encourage you to support those who are hurting in Turkey and Syria right now after this horrendous event. Thank you so much for watching this today. Hope you were encouraged to know you are not alone if you're hurting, but also to be empowered that we can help one another and that we don't have to fight this alone in this world. I'll see you on the next ride, you guys. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next ride. Ayo! Hey